and I'll add a few more okay. leaves there. All right, so today is cooking crystals, heating up all these crystals. So basically, what we want to do is we want to get rid of some of this dirt that's on the back side. The front side doesn't look too bad. There seems to be some sort of a brown inclusion in the tips of those crystals, which are quite interesting. All right, Gilbert, let's pack this kettle. So, so what you do? Yeah, I think it's better if we pack it on the side, eh? I think put the, put the crystals on the outside. These ones have got uh, goothite inclusions inside. All those black lines, which makes them very special. Okay. Reggie, Hilo was complaining all the time. Yeah. But you need a box full of that stuff. It's not that good. Hmm? It's not that good. Oh, there's more, yeah. Right, I didn't see that. So these crystals don't need a lot of cleaning, they are already quite shiny, you can see, but fill it uh, high enough, then uh, when we get, you know, you can see, you can see this, uh, this one is very brown at the back, and, uh, and, and these, I don't like the orange staining that's around the edges of the crystal, if that's nice and crisp and white, then it's more presentable for customers. So have a look at this one, Richelle. When we, after cooking, we'll come and after boiling it in the asset, we will look at that one again, and uh, we'll see if, if there's a difference. Okay, I'm going to fetch some asset. Three hundred milliliters of of oxalic acid so um, we just put the acid in like that and that should do the trick Yeah. And I'll 
add a few more leaves there. So what we want to do is we want to heat up this kettle uh, for a couple of hours and uh, then we let it cool down overnight and tomorrow morning we take it out but then we've got another job we've got to cut, cut them so that they stand well and then saw them into different price ranges but they won't be expensive and they're going to be quite nice I think they're going to be quite nice yeah, they will be very nice. Now, uh, just getting this fire started is a bit of a challenge because we haven't got fire starters. We, so we're just using whatever scrap combustibles we have lying around. What's in there, uh, Gilbert? Oh, that's just the lid. Uh, okay. That's the lid. All right. So, if we close it, it's going to contain all the heat inside. But we'll open it later just to see how it's boiling. And uh, so we just add some more fire as we go on, uh, burning whatever scraps we have lying here on the, on the yard. It's going to take a while before it burns, it boils. Pushing these a bit. Right, nice. Whew. Okay, there's already some bubbles on here. So it's boiling away and uh, this, this was the one that was so dirty but it's still dirty but you can see some of the others have turned quite white but I think once we spray them it's going to be a different story. So is it warm enough? Is there any more wood we can chuck in here? The fire has gone out. We're running out of scrap wood. I think just a few flames and you can already see how it's developing. See there's an open flame down here. 